Hi, hello there. What is it exactly that brought you here to my video? I'm just kidding guys. I just thought I would do a really random introduction because, well, it's me and I'm random. Thanks very much for joining me. If you're new, my name is Julie and I'm a Mad Hatter. What I'm going to be doing is I have so far on my channel been doing some Halloween videos where I talk about movies and things that I've been watching that are Halloween-esque and Halloween-y. So today I'm going to be talking about more stuff that I have been watching lately. So the first one is Hellboy Golden Army, which is of course the second movie of Hellboy. And I spoke about Hellboy in my one of my last uh, Halloween videos. As much as I absolutely loved the first one, I think I prefer the second one. Because the second one really is absolutely, I mean, they're both amazing. But I absolutely love the second one. You can let me know in the comments if you've seen both Hellboy movies, what one is your favourite. The second thing that I watched was the episode of Friends. It's the Halloween party one, where there's a Halloween party in Monica and Chandler's house. And I think it's absolutely hilarious that Joey came dressed as Chandler. Because in one of the other episodes in Friends, if you can remember, he dressed up um, or not dressed up but put on lots of Chandler's clothes like lots and lots of layers and he walked in and he said could I be wearing any more clothes and then <laughs> when he dressed up as Chandler at the Halloween party I just remembered that and had that in my head I just thought it was absolutely hilarious I just think that the episode is so funny and if you've already been subscribed to me for a while you're probably sick of hearing this but Friends is my favourite TV show in the world so of course I watch this at Halloween. The next one is a show that I don't know how many people will have heard of this but I think it's amazing. There's 11 seasons of it and I own all 11 seasons. It's a BBC show uh, called My Family. Now it's a comedy show and it's pretty much like a crazy family or what you would call like a dismantled family in a way but it's in a comedic way if that makes sense and they all sort of poke fun at each other and take the mickey out of each other just constant there's just constant jokes being flied around about each other and they're just making fun of people all the time uh, there was a Halloween episode that I watched and it is absolutely brilliant Um, pretty much the wife Susan does their whole house up like a crazy Halloween like she really goes over overboard Halloween house and the husband's just sitting like, you know, he's not interested in what she's done and she's trying to get him to participate and take part and he just doesn't want to join in. It is absolutely hilarious. But the show is no longer out anymore. There was only 11 seasons, but there's also, I have two discs of the Christmas specials that they've done. But I was so sad that the show ended, like, I just could not believe that it ended. Next one is, I just wanted to let you know that I have finished now watching the second season of Stranger Things. So I finished watching it, so that's what I was doing. And I have to say, the very last episode on season two, I think, is definitely my all-time favourite episode so far. Of course, season three isn't out yet. But I have to say, it's my favourite episode with a close tie coming in second would be the Halloween episode in Stranger Things because there's a Halloween episode in the second season of Stranger Things and I absolutely loved the Halloween episode it was so funny you can let me know down in the comments what you thought of the Halloween episode if you've seen Stranger Things but please don't ruin it for anybody guys and start talking in the comments about the last episode of season two but all I can say is that I thought something in it shouldn't really have been done that's all I'll say I think they should have left it in a certain position or a certain way the next one is Evil Dead Army of Darkness oh my goodness guys oh my goodness absolutely hilarious it's like a slapstick comedy horror movie and it was made into uh, seasons the Evil Dead was made into seasons and it's called Ash vs Evil Dead and I'm now actually watching through the third season. I've watched, I think, three episodes so far. And oh my goodness, it's really out there. And it, like kind of gory, this. <laughs> I mean, the other seasons were as well. Oh my goodness, absolutely hilarious. Ash, who is the lead actor in the movie, he's just so funny. And he walked over in the movie to a girl and he was like, give me some sugar, baby. Because that's what it is. It's just like, a, it's meant to be like a horror movie, but it's just so comedic. 
So if you like that sort of thing, then you should watch Evil Dead. Next thing that I wanted to talk about that I had watched is called The Sixth Sense and the lead character in this is played by Bruce Willis. I'm sure everybody knows who Bruce Willis is. If not, what planet did you actually come from? I could not believe, honestly guys, that I had never seen this movie before. I was almost like, where have I been? Where have I been all this time? Why have I not seen this movie? The story was very well written. I can't exactly say really anything about the movie because I would give it away but it had a fantastic storyline. As I say, Bruce Willis was the main actor. It was just fabulous. Has anybody else seen the movie Sixth Sense? The next one that I watched also, I think it was Sunday night, is Death Becomes Her with Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn. These two together are hilarious. And also in this movie is Bruce Willis. So I kind of had a bit of a Bruce Willis day. Yes, it was definitely Sunday night because I watched it in the evening and then I had watched Sixth Sense during the day because I remember saying, this is like a Bruce Willis day. <laughs> so yeah, I had a bit of a Bruce Willis day. But Death Becomes Her is a, a comedy, but it's something that I like watching. I'm not saying it's a Halloween movie, but it's a comedy movie that I love to watch over Halloween, if that makes sense. And it's just a really, really good movie and it's very funny. You can let me know if you've seen the movie. If not, I, I would definitely recommend it if you like Bruce Willis and you like comedy and you like something different to watch for Halloween, basically. It's really random and really out there, but it's a really good movie. The last thing that I wanted to talk about that I watched is the movie Batman, the amazing, wonderful, legendary Tim Burton. That movie is how a DC movie should be done, in my opinion, guys. And I actually might do a video talking about, you know, Batman Returns and Batman and th that's how DC do movies right and just like have a whole conversation about it. I could maybe make it into like a 20 minute video, you know, just sort of discussing, you know, things in that movie that was done so right that they should kind of stick to. So let me know if you would like to see a video like that. Batman is such a fantastic movie. I mean, it's on for around two hours, but it's well worth it. Let me know, is it just me or do you also watch Batman at Halloween? I love watching the Batman movies over Halloween. I just, I really do. But I normally would watch Batman Returns around sort of November-ish time because of the bits of snow and stuff in it and things like that. So yeah, I really enjoyed watching Batman the other night and had the fire and everything lit and I am really feeling Halloween-y. I have been feeling Halloween-y for weeks now, <laughs> as you can tell by all the Halloween videos. Let me know how many of these, I'd be really interested, what I want you to do is leave me in the comments below, guys, how many of these movies or episodes or whatever have you actually seen? I will be so happy if someone writes that they have seen My Family and that they love the show My Family. If anybody leaves that comment, you are literally the coolest commenter on this video. <laughs> So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I hope that you all have a really nice Halloween. I know it's a bit early to be saying that but I hope to have a really nice Halloween. So thanks so much for watching and I'm going to go now and finish off my coffee and get something to eat because I am so hungry. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!